uh, for the day two wrap-up from the World Relays. Mossy, how was it? Mate, sensational day two. Outstripped day one by an absolute mile. I don't think it'd be possible. We had such a great one day one, the Aussies. But yeah, I think you're right. We absolutely nailed it today. And, uh, mate, it was a sketchy start. The stream, um, we had a scramble. The internet scramble. It was like it was a new event for the World Relays. No one knew where the stream was. Uh, once we did establish it, it was a relay of sorts to tell the world where they could watch it. And that was on uh, our Meerkat. Well, mate, everything was scrambled from the moment that you actually uh, re- requested <laughs> scrambled eggs on your burger. We'll get to that in just a few moments, Robbo. But, uh, look, we got there in the end. We had many watches out there and uh, a lot of people interested, which is good. We did. We missed the women's one-lap heats this morning. Uh, they made it to the B final, uh, which was great. Uh, the three girls from uh, Illawong, great to see them teaming up. And uh, Mossy, I think they'll go... Great learning curve for those girls in the one-lapper. Absolutely. And, of course, we say B is for best of the rest relays and uh, brilliant stuff there by the girls. And, mate, but the hits just kept rolling on well, for the Aussies. Well, they did. I want to talk about the women's four-lap. Uh, they came seventh in their A final. All they had to do was get the baton around cleanly. They had a spot to Rio. They did it. And uh, 3.30, a season best for the girls. And uh, they're off to Rio. How great's that? Oh, when my baby... Whatever it is, goes to Rio. We're going to Rio, baby. And that's it. When my baby, when my baby smiles at me, I go to Rio de Janeiro. Now let's stick with the, the four-lap the four race. The men, well, they made it to the B final. Again, big Craig Burns came out. He was all fired up. And uh, they put in a pretty good showing as well today. Sam Baird making his debut. Absolutely. He looked like he was only 12 years of age, our young Baird. He did our, did our country proud, did himself proud. And I'll tell you what, uh, the boys got out there and uh, yeah, they nearly, nearly grabbed it. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, the distance runs, they absolutely had a day out, the Aussies. The women's eight-lap run, that was sensational. Brittany McGowan had it all to do, and uh, she came home and got the bronze for the bronze Aussies. Mate, we expect nothing less from Brittany McGowan receiving the baton of Selma Kayan, and all of a sudden, boom, she goes on the second uh, lap, 200 metres to go. Thought maybe she's gone a bit too early, but we've seen it so many times over the last couple of seasons. Legend, absolute legend. From the bronze from last year, how good is this? Oh, Abby Delamite, breakout season. What about picks up a bronze on a first national team? What about Brittany McGowan, first Aussie in history to have two medals at World Relays? Sensational work. Now the boys, they couldn't be outdone. Ryan Gregson, he got jammed by the door in the introduction and then Alex Beck, he got left high and dry in the intro, plenty going on in that Here we go. Here we go. They the best Watch for Gregson guy. Gregson's been running them through a look down Beck Beck's got to start, pardon me so no Sammy Baird there we go, what are they going to do? Beck, come back here oh, they've got him they've got him, no that was a trick that was a trick on Alex Beck Oh, there's Collis Birmingham not orchestrated that. But uh, Collis Birmingham, he got the baton with a bit of work to do and he bagged a bronze and the Aussies bagged a bronze in that as well. Se- sensational. Mate, it's just bronze, bronze, bronze. Bronzed Aussie. It's like this whole medal is made for us. So very, very special. And, uh, yeah, we've got the bronze relay here. And, uh, look, absolutely sensational. Mossy, uh, the intros, they were great. I mentioned Gregson, but what about the Aussies in the one lap? We drafted in Brianna B, and what did she bring to the team? Well, Brianna, obviously, she's got a lot of innovation in the way she runs and what she brings onto the track and off the track as well, but she's had a bit of a chat to the girls. They came out, cheeky little bum slap, and I'll tell you what, we hadn't seen that for the whole of the carnival, and it has been voted as the intro of the meet. Well, Mossy, absolutely sensational. We've ended up with three bronzes and uh, some fourths in there as well. Great showings in the A and B finals. Uh, automatic spot to the Rio games, but the golden baton, let's have a little look at that. Well, the bronze baton, Mossy, and, uh, well, not quite bronze for us there, but fourth on the ladder, taking out some big scalps, uh, the likes of Great Britain, for instance. They didn't even, they barely got into the top ten. Oh, pretty yawny there, the old Brits. But, hey, how good was Poland? I talked about this yesterday. I got in the Polish outfit, and Poland were absolutely sensational. They came home with a bronze. And America, we heard their national anthem about 18 times on day two. Well done to them. Uh, And the Aussies, looking forward to getting back over there in two years' time. In Nassau, the same spot Thomas A. Robinson Stadium will be there on the Bahamian couch. Cannot wait, Mossy. And then after that, of course, we're bidding for it to be here in Newcastle on the blue track and uh, in 2019. That is going to be unreal. But, folks, Thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the IAAF World Relays. And Mossy, final word? Mate, final word is if you want to get yourself a fantastic bacon egg burger, get down to Cafe <laughs> Inu because they'll last at least three hours and they'll still taste like you bought them just two minutes ago. All right, that's it from us here on the Bahamian Couch. And remember, folks, run, pass, run, do not drop, go straight to go and finish.
Monopoly. Oh, look at that. What's with these 